I hope I have your attention. It's not the physical fitness. It's not the military in the world or anything else that's controlling what's going on now. It's not God creating COVID. The actual facts are as I'm going to state to you right now. I'm coming to you from Nepal. Nepal is only one country in the world. And yet, the statistics for Nepal and the statistics for every other nation in this world basically fall in line. The death rate, the death rate per thousand has drastically fallen since 1960. Every single year in Nepal in 1960, the death rate was 27 per thousand. The death rate now is down almost to 6.2. And it's going to continue to fall. In 2018, the death rate in Nepal was 6.390. That was in 1918. I mean, in 2018. That was before COVID was introduced. In 2019, the death rate had continued to go down through COVID to 6.358. And in 2020, the death rate statistics were 6.327, continuation of falling. And on top of this, everything included here is every death in the nation per year. Now, the average death rate since 1960 to 2021 has been 15 per year. It's constantly falling. That is the same thing on a worldwide basis. And yet the birth rate has fallen because they're trying to stop growth, which makes absolutely no sense. 15 years ago, in America, you could line up every single individual in the country, wall shoulder to shoulder, and put them in Miami Beach, Florida, and still have room. Whoa! How much room is there in the world? A lot. God created man, gave him dominion over everything, all the authority, all the power, all the presence, and yet what are we doing? We're believing a big lie, and the world has bought into it, and the world needs to wake up. The death rate worldwide, worldwide, is down to approximately seven people per thousand. Seven people. Wait a minute here, folks. What are we doing? And in America, one of the few places where it went up, it went up to approximately 8%. Why? Last year. Why? Because there were 27,000 more above the average of suicides in the nation. And anarchy, murder, deaths, you name it, in all kinds of reasons. Everything has been blamed on COVID. A created thing created by China to destroy the economy of the world. And I'll say it, and every time the truth goes online, they get ripped down. There have been doctors that have stated the fact that the masks do no good. There was a girl in Oregon who dropped after a race that she ran because she was forced to wear a mask. And she didn't drop from exhaustion. She dropped because she couldn't breathe. Lack of oxygen. Oxygen is required, yes. But this idea that everybody has to <laughs> go on an oxygen bottle, it's crazy. There's plenty of air. There's plenty of oxygen out there. There's plenty of life out there. The years of the great flus that have gone on and the great things that have destroyed the world, wait a minute, those statistics, they have nothing to do with anything. This is COVID, folks. This is, this is a disease, a drastic disease that everybody's believing. I am a preacher and a fitness director and the only truth is in the word of God. If you cannot knuckle down to realize this is not the end of the world, this was not created by God, he created you 
to rule over all the dominion that is here. He gave you life. He put in you the breath of the living God. Man has thrown it away. And man is still buying in to the enemy of your soul, the enemy of your life, the enemy of your spirit. It's time to wake up. I'll probably be ripped down tomorrow. Maybe so. But this is facts. This is the World Bank. The World Bank, right? The WBC. The statistics that are true and honest and accurate around the world. And every time anybody acknowledges the facts, they're told, oh, they're lying. They're lying. This isn't real. This isn't true. No, this is not a lie. This is fact right in front of your face. Look, we can either buy it or refuse to buy it. Average from 1960 to 2021, 15 per thousand population in Nepal. 15 per one for every thousand died in some way. Today, people died here in poker. Here in poker, we had several deaths yesterday. They weren't from people in poker, they were from people from all over the nation that happened to be here in the hospitals and died. But they blamed all of it on COVID and they'll continue to do so. Everybody will continue to do so because this is what they're told to do. But that's not the facts. If you look at the complications of every death that has occurred in the world today, you will discover that the greatest increase has been in suicides. Suicides. People taking their own lives. No hope. No hope for the future. Instead of getting healthy and getting fit. No. We got to target those. What is targeted worldwide? Fitness. I'm a fitness director as well as a pastor. I believe firmly in health and nutrition. I teach health. I teach nutrition. I teach everything about the human body. And the fact that we were created a magnificent machine to live eternally with God. We've got a choice. Buy into this crap and keep believing it and let the world be destroyed because of the simplicity of trying to, to usher in a one world government instead of the truth. The truth. The truth. This is the truth. Believe it.